Now, before we get started, I want to share that this weekend we are running an amazing hackathon with the stream. So you can register for it. You can check out the links in the description below and you can go to this dev post page. Everything is given over here, like joining the Discord channel, taking part, registering, finding teammates, the announcement video and uh, the prizes. So recently I made a video on like I'll, I'll be happy to provide some career mentorship, like one on one mentorship to people. So five winners and every single team member will get like a one on one career mentorship session. We also have cash prizes worth 500 US dollars. So that's pretty cool. And uh, you're going to learn a lot. You're going to you know have a lot of fun. And uh, it's a beginner friendly as well because stream makes it very easy for you to build applications. So make sure you check it out. Join it with your friends. And if you're taking part, then, you know, take a screenshot and share it on socials. Show, show your participation. And I'm really looking forward to seeing you there. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and the new video. Now I am known for teaching data structures algorithms quite a lot. People are loving the courses. Millions of people have watched it. So if you haven't already, check out the links in the description below. But in this video, I'm going to answer one of the most asked questions, which is how do we practice data structures and algorithms? And I won't just share with you like, okay, practice it or whatever. I'll share with you some of the tips, some of the unique ways by which you can practice it and how you can apply it in the real world. So let's get started. So step number one is obviously learning about data structures and algorithms. So you can watch this uh, uh, course that I have. It's free. It's on YouTube. People love it. You can see 5 million views already. I started it last year. It's currently ongoing. So uh, we'll be updating this very, very soon. So you can check out the links in the description below. But one thing I want to share is there's this thing called applying and there's this thing called like also learning in public. So learning in public, you can do via like applying stuff. So for example, I'm learning, let's say, web development and I'm making a project on it. So you just share about that, ask questions and stuff. So that's a part of learning public. But Kunal, how do we do this thing? How do we build your profile and share your knowledge when you're learning data structures algorithms? So step number one is blogging. That's amazing. For that, if you go to vmakedevs slash events, you're like, okay, Kunal, how do we get started with blogging and stuff? So you can go to vmakedevs github repository slash events. By the way, you can find this in the description as well. You can go to current events. You can check out hash note blogging challenge. So the idea is that you can write a blog on anything you want and we give away special prizes. So for example, we're giving away these nice keyboards and we've given away like some Jordans, professional uh, mouses and uh, cash prizes and uh, even Apple MacBooks and stuff. So you can take part in this, it's free. And what I would encourage you to do is when you're learning data structure algorithms, when you're learning some concept, try to write a blog on it. Okay, you can sign up to hash node and you can make a series on it, for example, if you want, you know. So that is what I would recommend you to do. Just put value out there. Like someone who reads your blog, they'll be like, okay, how to understand recursion as a beginner or uh, five tips to, uh, you know, be very good at dynamic programming, uh, most asked questions, patterns I saw while solving array questions. So these are some ideas that I'm giving you. And uh, when you take part in Hashnode blogging challenges, we select like seven, eight, ten people every month. We give them swag also. We select like some uh, winners for the amazing prizes. We select some overall winners, track specific winners. So there's huge possibility for you to win some exciting prizes as well as you can see. So many people have won such amazing prizes. So I'd recommend you to take part in this event. That's one thing. Okay. Now the second way via which you can uh, practice is uh, we're also running one more event, which is the Battlesnake uh, December tournament. So you can check out uh, Battlesnake. And uh, if you go to playbattlesnake.com, by the way, you can take part in this event throughout uh, December as well. The announcement video you can check out over here. Again, this is also in the events repository. So what the idea with Battlesnake is that it's a competitive platform where you build your snake. So, you know, there was like this snake game we used to play in the old smartphones or sorry, not all the not smartphones, all the like normal phones. And the, the that's basically about it. So the idea is that you interact with the Battlesnake API it's very easy for you to get started. You will literally get started in five seconds. And I've done a video on that already, so make sure you check it out. You can check it out on my YouTube channel, or you can just check it out over here. You can see in the resources section, there's a YouTube live stream by Kunal, step-by-step -step guide to getting started. So the idea is, Kunal, how is DSA improving with Battlesnake? Well, you can apply all sorts of algorithms, like uh, uh, backtracking, um, graph theory, and uh, all sorts of things. And uh, also if you, let's say, want to apply machine learning algorithms, you can do that as well. Greedy algorithms and stuff, that is something you can do. So there was a really nice testimony over here. Someone wrote, computer programming sucks. Like, uh, you know, I went to a few competitions. It was just very boring. Instead, if you want to practice like DSA and stuff to sol while solving real world 
like problems in real world, like gaining real world skills, I think Battle Snake is the way to go. So if you want to get started with this, this is also very easy because we are running an event for this also. So highly recommend you to check it out. I'm sharing about this because right now we are running these events. That is the reason I'm sharing about it. Okay, what if I made this video like next month when the event was over? Okay, you can still take part in Battle Snake. They, they do regular contests and stuff. But we are also doing a December tournament and uh, it's beginner friendly so you can get started. If you're a beginner, if you don't know anything about it, step by step guide to get started. This is a video that I did. So you can watch this one and it will help you quite a lot. Okay, cool. The next one is... Uh, the next one is lead code. So this is more on the practice part. For this, I would recommend go to the Kunal Kushwaha channel, the channel that I have. Go to playlists and in the playlists, go to my experiences section. And there's this first video called how I cleared my Google interviews. Use lead code effectively. It already has close to half million views. So in this video, I have shared how you should utilize lead code and stuff and how you should actually solve lead code problems. So I'm not going to repeat that. Please watch that video. In that video, I've answered questions like, uh, Kunal, I get stuck while I look at a lead code problem. You know, I get stuck. How much time should I give? How many questions do we need to do? Stuff like that. I've answered it in that video. All these resources I've shared till now, three, four, five resources. All the links are in the description if you just check once. Okay, so just check in the description once. It will help you quite a lot. Please, these are all free resources and these are all amazing, like in terms of output, it's pretty awesome. Uh, last but not least, there's chat GPT. So we can just ask chat GPT how to, uh, sorry, I can just say project ideas. This is the only point remaining in the, in the section now for data structures and algorithms. So let's see what project ideas that gives you. You can build a recommendation system. For example, that's what I did. Uh, you can build traversals using graphs and stuff. So you can make like Sudoku solver and stuff, but you can take it a little bit next level. You know, like you can use yeah spell checker using a try, uh, data structure and uh, this is a pretty basic one like this is when you're learning try uh, this is the first program that people do um so to go puzzle i just mentioned that backtracking algorithms and stuff we've already done this uh what you can do is with the sudoku puzzle for example you can try to create a ui behind it so let's say you know how to solve sudoku puzzle but let's say you create a nice ui with it i think that's pretty awesome okay just have some api calls pass it as a list and uh, return the answer in the call and it will populate it, it will look pretty. So you don't have to run it on the CLI, it will look nice. Shortest path one, yeah, again, Dijkstra's algorithm and stuff. Uh, if you've done graph theory, then you can use that and do all sorts of things. You can, uh, you know, I'd recommend just taking part in Battlesnake. It will show you the UI and stuff as well and it'll be pretty cool. Um, Tetris game using a stack data structure, that's pretty awesome. And uh, Huffman coding algorithm you can use to compress and decompress files, you know, and on all sorts of things. So. Uh, these are some of the ideas and stuff, but I think uh, the main point here being is that when we talk about projects, students get the feel of the project when there's like some sort of a UI and something interactive associated with it. So in addition to data structures algorithms, you'll have to learn a little bit of development is what I recommend. And it's not really difficult. You have to run the basics and it will be, you'll be fine to get started with it. So those are one of the so few other things that I would recommend. So let's sum it up. Hash node challenges, you can take part in that, win exciting prizes, write blogs on DSA and stuff and how to take part. How do we know that you have submitted a blog for the challenge? You can, when you're publishing, you can just add hashtag we make devs in hash node and we will find it. And you can also share it on socials whenever you sign your, uh, send your blog. And you can tag hash node and you can tag we make devs. The second one is actually the battle snake one. You can take part in that. That's, I believe, you know, one of the best ways to do it. And then there's lead code for which I made a video on that already. Everyone does that. So uh, make sure you watch that video. Again, all these resources are in the description. And the fourth one is like making projects that have some UI associated with it. Okay, so sorting visualizer and things like that. These are the things you can make. But the catch over here is that you need to know some sort of development in order to make these projects. It's not difficult if you want to learn something new and go in your grow in your career. You have to have an open mind to learn new things. Okay, so these four things I mentioned and the resources for all of these four things are in the description below. Hashnode, Battlesnake, LeetCode and the other thing. And uh, thanks a lot for watching. If you have any questions, you can leave this in the description below. Uh, sorry, in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer that. And uh, you can check out my other channels that I have created. You can go to the Kunal Kushwaha YouTube and you can check out other channels in the channel section. So I made some other channels for you to check it out. Folks who requested it. And uh, that's pretty much about it for this video. Make sure you like, share and subscribe. You can share what you learned in this video. You can take a screenshot and you can share it on socials like how you are going to practice data structure algorithms. You can tag me and create value 
and uh, hopefully i'll see you in the hash node challenges in the battle snake tournament it's uh, running for december the hash node one we do every month looking forward to seeing you there and uh, hoping to give you some exciting prizes and i'll see you in the next one have a great day